Well, as much as I really didn't want to do this, today we're going to be swapping out the STI rims for a set of new ones. So I know that I haven't really had these for too long, but there's a couple of reasons why we're going to be making the switch. One of the reasons being for weight reduction. So these are pretty damn heavy. These are 24 pounds a piece, not including the tires. So just the wheels themselves are 24 pounds. Uh, the ones that we're going to be switching over to are going to be 18 pounds. Really, it's going to make for less strain on the engine. So that's one thing. Two, uh, it's going to be better for performance. Uh, three, it's also going to be rotary forged, so they're going to be a lot stronger too. And also for some better gas mileage, but let's be honest, who's really doing it for that reason? Another reason too is because I want to get rid of the spacers over here. So it's a pretty aggressive spacer. It's a 25 millimeter. That's about one inch. And um, I've been doing a little bit of research and that can definitely over time wear out some of the suspension components. So definitely don't want that to happen. So as a preventative measure, we're gonna be doing that. Also the wheels that I got are actually at a really, really good price. Normally they're priced at around a thousand dollars or 900, somewhere there. And the ones that we got are about 750. So they had a deal going on now especially with the whole pandemic going on. So overall, we're gonna be saving about six pounds on each end. Now, some manufacturers say that every pound of rotational mass that's reduced is, there's basically like a multiplier to it. So it's equivalent to, I think like 20 pounds per pound, something like that. Uh, at least that's what NK says, according to their website. Other websites like Fitment Industries have kind of debunked this a little bit. So don't really know what to make of that or what the multiplier is, but nonetheless, it's gonna be six pounds of weight saving on each end. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in the car now and we're gonna to head to our shop. They're gonna get everything mounted up and we're gonna get going. You guys haven't heard this in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and set you down, start up the car. All right, so we've arrived at the shop. So one of the biggest things that I think we're gonna see right now initially is with the basically how much the tire pokes out. So again, these are stock STIs from 2015 to 2017. So these are 18 by eight and a half with a one inch spacer. So let's say all together, it's about nine and a half on the, on the width, right? So it's sticking out about that much. You can see in the front too. Again, as far as like the camber settings too, so you guys know. Uh, in the back, we have negative four degrees of camber and in the front we have negative three degrees of camber. So a little bit different on both sides. So with the new wheels that we're going with, they're gonna be also 18 by eight and a half. Uh, my previous wheels before these were 18 by nine and a half. They were pretty good, but just for like weight saving purposes and the fact that they can still hold a 245 tire, which is something that like I'm pretty happy with. I'm not trying to go more than that. Uh, it's pretty good. So yeah, it's gonna be basically pushed in a little bit more, but the offset's a little different too. So right now the stock STIs are plus 55 offset and the ones that we're going to be installing today are plus 38 so a little bit of a difference so they're definitely going to be pushed in a little bit more uh, as far as like the uh i guess like the center board let's call it um so they're going to look a little more like indented but then because we're lacking the spacer now the whole point of this is to basically get rid of the spacer these are 5 by 114.3 and the wheels that we're going to be getting go back to the stock 5 by 100 bolt pattern um, so there will be a bit of a difference. I think they're gonna be pushed in a little bit But if we want to in the future we can go ahead and put a tiny spacer on maybe like a 5 or 10 millimeter and go ahead and switch to extended lug nuts Cool, right? Yeah. Alright guys, so we just left the shop. We had to get out of there. Uh, there was a lot of people in the shop, so just to get out of their hair a little bit. So we basically, we got the wheels on. Uh, I didn't show you guys yet, but um, we're actually going now to grab some hub-centric rings because I forgot that I didn't have any. Uh, there's a local shop over here and there's actually a bunch of traffic right now and there's a, some bikers over here on the side. I don't know if somebody crashed or something or what happened, but we're about to find out. Oh crap, yeah, somebody did crash. These guys all came like speeding by and now, yeah, there seems to be some sort of accident over here. Hopefully everybody's all right. So we just picked up our hub centric ring. So these are the correct ones that we needed. We needed a 73.1 to 
2.1. So I got them from this shop over here. It's called uh, Full Throttle in Queens. I don't know if you guys could see that right over there. Really great shop, took two seconds, 10 bucks, not bad. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on the car when we get home. But also guys, so the STI wheels are for sale now. So whoever's interested, uh, hit me up either on Instagram or anywhere. You guys can find my Instagram right on screen right there, bottom left hand corner. continue on with the time lapse I just want to show you guys what we have here so these are the Koenig hypergrams in 18 by eight and a half so this is the same size as the stock STI wheels they're 18.2 pounds rotary forged they come in two colors and this color it's like a matte metallic kind of like gunmetal look and they also come in bronze now originally if you guys been around the channel long enough you'll know that my first set of aftermarket wheels were the Avid Doubt or Avid One 8020s, and those were in bronze. So we decided to go with a different look. Now, one thing that this does have is a step lip. So right over here, it kind of goes in, and the spokes instead of extending all the way out to the that outer lip, it goes right over here in the center. So it definitely looks like a smaller wheel, it looks like a, like a 17 or even a 16 inch. But this is still an 18 inch wheel. Now there were a couple of different choices that I was going with. Uh, it was between this one. This was actually at the bottom my uh, bottom of my list, but it was between this, the Koenig Renforms, the NK uh, Rygines, and the NK I think TSVs. The TSVs, in my opinion, I think looked the best, but they were the most expensive, and they also weighed the most, I believe. I think both NKs weighed a little bit more. So then I kind of narrowed it down to the Koenigs. I've always liked Koenig and what they stand for, and they're very much a a uh, racing and autocross inspired wheel and they make the wheels so light and strong because this is rotary forged so it definitely adds the best of both worlds of uh, durability as well as performance. So I actually got an offer on this on eBay. Normally, I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but normally these cost $1,000. I got it for around $750. Honestly, I couldn't beat that so I went with these. They'll probably grow on me. I think my original bronze wheels too, it took a while for them to grow on me. But I think these eventually will grow on me, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this job. I'm going to stop the time lapse because I realize that there's no space for me to get onto that side. Um, so I'm going to have to move the car around a little bit because I have such a narrow driveway. So I'm going to finish this all up, get the hubcentric rings on there, and then we'll be good to go. You know, before we go and proceed, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install the hubcentric ring. It's very simple. You just need the right size. So for this one, the inner diameter is 56.1. Uh, and the outer is a 73.1. So that's that's gonna be specific to your wheels, the center bore, um, but then for the bore on the wheel, uh, it has to be 56.1 for your Forester, and I think for most Subarus, uh, and then like VWs and some different German cars at 57.1. So basically all you do is you take the smaller side, insert it right into here, right? and then you're just gonna kinda give it a couple of taps, Take like a hammer, whatever you want, like a mallet. Mallet would probably be better so you don't damage it. This thing is made out of plastic, but it's gonna be very strong. My last ones were also plastic, and they held up very nicely. So I'm just gonna give it a couple taps. And that's pretty much in there. It's gonna go ahead and mount onto the car. That way, the wheel is hub-centric instead of lug-centric, which can cause some rattling on the highway, especially at higher speeds, anywhere between like 60 to 80 or 60 plus. Don't ask how I know, but yeah, definitely get you some of these. The next day.
Well guys, there you have it. Those are the Koenig Hypergrams in 18 by 8.5 plus 38 offset. I think they look pretty good. Uh, definitely not as good as the STIs, but maybe eventually they'll grow on me. Uh, one thing that we did order also is uh, we, all, we have extended lug nuts, but we're not going to put them on yet. We just ordered some 5mm spacers to put all around. I think it's going to let the tires poke out a little bit more, just like we had with the uh, STI wheels. So the difference right now is 8mm. So we're basically pushed in 8mm as opposed to the previous setup with the STI wheels and the spacer. So with the five millimeter spacers that are gonna be coming, it'll push us out five more millimeters. So we're only at a loss of three millimeters, which is fine because I think the way I previously had it did poke out a tiny bit too much. So with a little bit more poke, I think it's gonna be just right. So guys, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, please like it, leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now, peace.